Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to work on transitioning from our D to our E chords evenly. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so in the last lesson, we took a look at just moving our fingering from our D to our E's. Playing our D, moving our index finger over, middle finger, and adding that in there. Now we're moving from the E to the D, moving it over, ring finger first, and then adding that down there, then moving back and forth. And that's the next step. You want to try and do this evenly. So you'll um, put on a drum beat or metronome. And what you're going to do, you're not going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you see, I'm holding these chords. That's your goal to, is to eventually get there. But what you're going to do in the beginning, just so you hit the chords on a one, is you're going to play one. After you strum that, you're going to immediately move over and get ready for the next one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So as you hear, it sounds kind of choppy, um, but that's okay. We want you to want to make sure you're hitting these on the one, on beat one of each measure. So um, then what you do is you'll hold it a little bit longer. You'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now you're giving yourself a couple beats. And that's what you want to do. Just little by little, try to play it a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then finally, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you want to go back and forth between those two. And um, yeah, and that might take a, a little bit to get that nice and even like that. But, um, but yes, keep working on that. You want to get that down.